In this video of JavaScript, we are going to work with the validations. It is not a very core concept, but yes, whatever we have learned so far, using all those things, we can start implementing the validations of on client side on a particular form. So here we will see some of the validations like whether all the text boxes are filled up properly or not. If we are asking something like a mobile number or email ID, whether that is in a particular format or not. So for those things, we can define a customized methods and we can call them up on the or either on the blur event of any text box or you can also call them finally when you are submitting the page. So let's see practically a sample form where I'm going to add some validations. So for putting the validation on the client side, first of all, we will have to create a form and here we have done the same. Here using the HTML, I have designed a very simple, simple form here like form tag inside this I have put a table. T in table, you will get some number of rows using TR and in each TR you will get a couple of columns. In the first column, it's the heading like name and in the second column, it is a text box. Again, the email, then a text box for email, the TD means the column for the zip code, the text box for the zip code and here I have added the country column and on the second column you can see there is a drop down list using the select tag. So in the drop down you will get these four options means it must be selected means some country must be chosen from this given list. And finally there is a submit button. So uh, as you can see in this particular body when I have added the form, I have added the couple of attributes, some number of attributes as well, like the action method. So I am just uh, keeping the user on the same page. I don't have in any action page uh, till now. So I'll continue with the same page only. Uh, name, name of a particular form and on submit means when you will submit the form, what you want to do. So here I'm just calling a validate function. Uh, using a return keyword because this validate function would be returning a boolean like either true or false if all the validations are proper means it will be returning a true if any particular field is failing to validate the value it will return a false so let's see in the header section inside the script tag how I am putting that script thing it means the validation things so here you can see there is a validation function uh, and inside this particular validation what I can do First of all, I have uh, read the value of name text box. So if document dot my form, that is the name of the form dot name, the name of the text box dot value is blank, then an alert message focus will be on the text box again and I will return a false. So if any particular text box like the email or the zip uh, or the country, if any particular variation is there, I am returning a false that will make sure that this form will not be submitted. Uh, here in the zip code, you can also see like I am uh, checking this uh, length as well. So the, it must be of five digits means when you are entering the zip code, only five digit number will be accepted. So uh, that's it. And similarly in the countries, as you can see, while adding the drop down list, I have assigned some values. Means choose yours, it's having minus one, and apart from that, it's one, two, and three. So I will use that particular value here itself. Like if the value is minus one, means you haven't chosen any value, and after this message, again, I will return a false. If none of this if condition is getting uh, satisfied, means the form is filled properly, and I will return a true which will allow this particular form to be submitted on this because uh, on the submit event uh, I am just using this validate value alright so let's see the output uh, in the browser so here's the form and what I'll do I'll just uh, try to submit it now please provide your name I'll do that when I'll say submit it will say please provide your email Again, I will do that. Zip code, I know it's asking for the five digit numbers. So one, two, three, four, five. If I'll fail to do that, again, it will say, 
please provide the zip in the format this means there are five hashes means I'm looking for the five digit number now country if I'll not choose please provide your country I'll say India and you see the form is now submitted so this is how you can pass some customized method in order to validate the uh, controls which you have added in your HTML form.